All right, we're going to talk about the events for the weekend. This is the second week that it has started on Sunday. The events used to start on Mondays, but now they affect on Sundays. And two weeks in a row, something has been wrong. Something that is happening currently right now is the Voyager orbs from last week's event is still here. My understanding is that uh, you can still get them. It's not counting for the milestones. Uh, the, a, lot, a lot of discussion over that. So here's the thing is there's an event running next week for Oath. And that event is right here. Spin Campaign Energy and Astral Showcase Energy starting now. Spin Campaign Energy and Astral Showcase Energy for Cosmic Shadow event starting on 1110. Bonus for opening Strange Awakening Orbs. So... It's not a big, big deal, but it is a little bit interesting. So like a lot of people knew about this event coming, coming and people were either going to spend campaign energy last week or they're going to spend it this week. Well, if you spent it last week, you would have got the Voyager orbs and the event. The event with that leaderboard ended today and the new one started. However, the Voyager orbs are still there. So if you were a person that hoarded last week, and flushed all your energy today, you're still gonna get credit for this right here, right? And in addition to that, you're gonna get the Voyager orbs, which they did not remove. So um, if you're interested in that, do that right there, do it now. If you're spending on a bunch of campaign energy, I don't know how to correct this or compensations do or anything like that. Like I said, it's a small thing. Although now, me personally, I wish I would have hoarded energy till today, dumped it all today, got the credit for next week's event and got the Voyager orbs as well. I, I, why are they doing this on Sundays and tomorrow's a holiday? I don't understand the thinking about releasing important things on a Sunday. Not a good idea. Not well thought out. Spin turkeys starting on the 10th. Spin turkeys in the special turkey store for Stellar Conquest web milestone beginning on the 10th. And then Erd Allied Supply Orbs and Participate in Spec Ups starting on the 10th. And that is running right now for the Cosmic Battle Alliance Milestone. And I do want to read also from Big Spartan because he explains it a little bit differently. Sometimes I got to hear it two different ways to completely understand it. Cosmic Battles, a six-day event for your alliance. Earned Allied Supply Orbs, Spec Op missions, same as last week, except contains Ancient One Team Orbs. And we're going to talk about... We're going to talk about Battle World for sure. Stellar Contest, seven day solo web, spin turkeys, 300k turkeys to complete. Last week was turkey and candy, and this feeds the Cosmic Shadows event, which is the event that we're talking about that is currently running for Oath. Seven days solo astral energy, open strange awakening orbs, campaign energy, Battle World wave. So, Battle World is not running on Sunday, but it starts on Monday, and then on Saturday is null. Oath release events, 100 shards, astral energy are the astral showcases. Emma Frost is coming out on Thursday. Who knows when uh, Shadow King is coming? My guess is that there probably will be a blog, let's say, on Friday, and then it'll be sometime next week. That may be Monday of next week. I, I, I'm going to say anywhere from a week to two weeks out, if I were to guess, I have no information. Emma Frost is on 13 on the Thursday. Strange Awakening Orb is an offer containing his Awakened Ultimate and 12k milestone points. 60 waves in Battle World. There's a total of 101 waves through all five zones. 100 Rose Shards require 200 core daily on energy, hitting the limit on Battle World waves and not buying the orb offer. So, spending the 200 cores daily uh you know it's pretty easy to do the 50s might do one additional one uh just to get to that limit so that's something to consider also the thing that everybody was talking about null a couple things about null that weren't real clear to me and maybe in some of the videos is 500k was the cap for the normal difficulty so we got normal difficulty, difficulty one, difficulty two, and difficulty three. Difficulty three is going to be the cap for next Saturday. So this version of Battle World is completely a new experience for me. And I know there was a Reddit post about Envoy saying, oh, this is it. No, it was not fun. 
I, I did not get anything out of the the normal difficulty remains to be seen if difficulty three difficulty four is engaging for some of the community i'm sure for every person that likes the higher difficulties there's going to be one or more maybe more people that are not happy with the difficulty and it's too hard we'll have to see and then also any clear all barrier attack will not clear all of null's barriers so one of the things also that's kind of strange is the way that the clock works against null is that the timer is not running while you're thinking and it's running when the animations are happening so you know because there's a situation with the 500k it was like teams like spider society were timing out not because of the thinking or auto or anything like that just because the animations were long another thing too is a character like mephisto was proving to be not effective. A lot of people were reporting that, you know, Spider Society with Mephisto was worse than just full Spider Society. That may not be the case when the damage cap gets boosted up to 2 million and 4 million. We will have to see how that plays out. I feel like a lot of the teams and the, and the way that the bleeds work were going to be specific to this particular difficulty that was only available well we were forced into it it's going to be available always but after the normal difficulty was forced on everybody the first week and then after that we can move higher so next week could be entirely different i mean a lot of people are going to be going to this difficulty three and i think a lot of the teams that work are going to be different um which creates an annoying situation where you can go in, back out, go in, back out, go in, back out until you find the best team. My personal guess on the way that it's going to play out after we've been doing this for weeks, it's going to be an Old Man Logan team, it's going to be a Black Knight team, and then it's going to be an Astral team with Shadow King. And it, exactly the, 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 the nuance of that remains to be seen. In general, the rewards were garbage. I don't even think I have enough to buy. I barely have enough to buy like two pieces of purple iso of the it's just completely terrible so of a week's worth of coordination strategy there are the rewards we receive three null shards sorry engagement not worth it not even enough for one purple iso orb yeah it was truly truly horrible um not doing this every week this was uh one of the highest voted posts of the day here's my first set of null attacks i enjoyed the concept as well as the music the repetitiveness of the battle world is going to get stale very fast. With that said, that isn't even my biggest gripe. My biggest gripe is the time sync one day off a week from battle world. And then it starts all over again. Couple that with crucible that runs three days straight. It also bleeds into battle world factor and alliance war that runs every other day, which you guessed it bleeds into battle world and top it all off. Give these feeder events, which have gotten just so time consuming. I find myself playing galaxy of heroes, a lot more than Marvel Strike Force, and obviously Battle World is a concept taken from territory battles. But at least in Galaxy of Heroes, territory battles doesn't run every single week, and the events are switched up every week. Definitely breaks up the metonymy of doing the same thing every week. Also, everything too, they call them platoons over there, and here they're called spec ops. The platoons actually do something that affect the next day. And so there's always this risk reward thing, which it's been a long time since I played it, but it, that just seems way better. Uh, I know this could be your first rogue battle world, but something is going to give and has to give fast. Make battle world by week will thing and double the rewards because the rate doing this every single week is going to get stale very quickly. At this point, it's beginning to feel like a second job. And I always told myself when a game starts to feel, you start to get that feeling when it goes from being pastime to unwind to having fun goes to the realm of feeling like job. Maybe it's time to stop playing. To all the contracators who said no it was the fun part of the battle world. Well, it's more fun. And the other five days and also we didn't play this version and so um i i feel like no difficulty normal or the normal difficulty is a lot worse than the harder difficulties so i'm just saying most brainless content most boring thing i ever done in the game and i've done 60 boots battles in a row oh just punch him till you kill him and do it again and again well i'm not saying that your experience is going to change but um, it is better than the other five days. And I think that the higher difficulties is going to be more engaging. But again, like I said, at the beginning of the video, 
for every one person that enjoys the difficulty, there's going to be more than one person that think it is oppressive. And so there's a balance there, right? 15 minutes total banging your head, wall hoping it gets as much damage as possible. And yes, I'm aware of the barrier and the tunes that be buried. The other thing too is, said this also, I did not like the Galaxy of Heroes version of this game mode at all. And I often felt like I was the wrong person to evaluate whether this was good or bad because I just don't like it. I don't like anything about it. And I feel like even saying something like this, the fun part of Battle World, that doesn't mean anything because I didn't like any of it. I just thought it was terrible. Good God, that was the worst thing I have ever played. It has absolutely nothing to do with being the base difficult, sheer concept. Fight and all, beat him and die. Don't beat him and die. Or more likely time out, repeat forever. <laughs> okay. I see what you're saying and I agree. Mindless, repetitive, re repetitive and unimaginative. What about you have to beat him X amount of times, but each time he dies, he comes back and he does something different. Whoa, I like this idea. Boom, already more interesting. Been working on this for a year. Nobody thought of this. This is a great post. This is a great post. I was, I was invited to an exclusive chat. Got a pop-up a few weeks ago inviting me to talk to someone on Discord. They introduced themselves, asked a few questions, and then after my response to those questions, along with a little bit of feedback that they asked for, they never messaged me again. Never even got a special welcome gift as advertised by the pop-up. I don't know what this is about, but it feels like they wanted to make sure I know that they don't care in case I don't, I didn't know, know already. And I think they were invited to a, a, a Kraken. So I'm guessing that this person was a high, high spender and they got invited to a special chat on discord. Um, that's all I could make out of this. I know I've never got that pop up. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section about battle world. I'm sure there's a lot of people that feel the same thing about battle world. I just didn't like this game mode in galaxy of heroes and kind of struck me as an odd one to choose to pick and I don't feel like the Marvel Strike version of it is it's just very underwhelming and even though this version is better than the other versions that that I saw before it still seems greatly underwhelming let me know in the comment section bye for now I hope next week's better in Battle World but I don't think it will be